It is the fourth day, day four. We are currently heading to go climbing this morning. There was a whole ordeal with like the plumbers having to come because the hot water hasn't been working for the past like few days. So anyways, we finally left and we're just gonna go make the most of our day. It is 11.15 now. Sun's out. Yeah, we're gonna go get focaccia, sandwiches, and matcha. Literally, food is the only thing that motivates me. <laughs> Chloe's like, you should climb, and then we'll go get food after. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Look at that roast chicken.
keep it up by sundown It's all a waste and I know Can't see the end and I know She be here waiting I'll be here waiting I'll be here waiting and waiting And she got me Hold up Dopamine got me feeling like I gotta run Need another hit or two before I'm having fun I'm gonna quit this shit before I'm Ah, gallery! National gallery National gallery of <laughs> So pretty in the sun today It's a bit wow, chilly like getting, like, The waft of chocolate like, mm. We went to protagonist <laughs> recap in terms of expenses and what I thought of Melbourne in general and the overall trip. The whole trip was just over $700 for five days and four nights. That included $200 for accommodation and then also $160 for the flights. Um, and then the rest of it was just made up of going out for food and some travel expenses when we were in Melbourne and also some groceries. I think that's really good considering we went out every day to have food and a lot of the times multiple times a day and also like shopping and things it was a really nice trip i think overall my highlights were definitely the food the variety of food and also the quality of the food and also the cityscape and exploring um the city we just pretty much stayed in the cbd area and the furthest we went out to was st kilda's which was just like the only wharf slash bay area slash beach, very calm beach that is close to the CBD. So we really spent our time there and honestly, it's such a gorgeous city. I just love like the aesthetic of the city and the lifestyle of it. The nightlife was really great. Things were open a lot later than they are here in Sydney, which was nice. I feel like Melbourne really stands out in the winter when it's sunny really great weather throughout the whole trip so i'm really thankful for that i loved it i feel like i could definitely see myself moving there i think next time when i go back i really want to explore outside of the cbd more also i really love in terms of the cityscape what i really loved was just how there are a lot of similarities with sydney the architecture in sydney and also in melbourne but i think melbourne kept a lot of the old architectures whereas sydney a lot of it is modernized and it's definitely for the corporate lifestyle so i really do love the landscape and architecture and there's just the cityscape of melbourne a lot this was definitely one of my favorite trips and i'm so glad we went getting back into the sydney lifestyle and getting ready for uni starting up in a few weeks so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video very very soon bye everyone <laughs>